Welcome to the Badass Babe Oracle Podcast. The vibe here is how to manifest in a simple and fun way without the bullshit overcomplicated methods or fluff, the energetics of activating your abundance frequency and soul purpose alignment. I'm your host, Kelly Pender, your spiritual manifestation coach, and together we're going to uncover the truth of who the fuck you are to open yourself the F up to actually receiving the abundant success and money to easily flow into your life or business. All of your desires begin with you. You are the Oracle. I'll see you inside. Hello, my love. Welcome to day three of how to manifest $1,000 or more in 33 days inside the Badass Babe Oracle podcast. How are you feeling after learning how to shift from Newtonian physics into a quantum physics state? I would love to hear and just allow yourself to do a little bit of an internal check-in. Ask yourself, how am I feeling? Because today on day three is all about regulating your wealth encoding, and this has everything to do with emotions. So on day one, we went into the neural pathways, which are in the brain. Day two, we went into operating out of logic, Newtonian physics, shifting into a quantum physics state, which is all about the frequency of our manifestations of money and abundance. And now day three, we're diving into the emotions. And so many of us are capping ourselves off from expanding our capacity of receiving more money, more abundance, because we're operating from an emotional state that's keeping us in this current level of where you are at with receiving money. And I know you wanna receive more money. I know you wanna receive more abundance, but right now you're playing at this level where it feels like you can't move beyond or break past from. For example, you may be feeling like you're living paycheck to paycheck and it feels like you cannot break free from that paycheck to paycheck cycle. Right now in your business, you may be receiving one, two, three thousand a month, and you're like, I don't know why I can't break free and move into 5K months, move into 10K months. Right now, where you are with your wealth calibration, you're playing at a certain level because that's your comfort zone. When we regulate your wealth encoding is when we can move beyond the level that you're playing at, break free, and move into receiving more money, more abundance. And we're gonna dive into breaking free, moving beyond your current comfort zone today. So most of us know that we have money blocks. I've said this before in the previous day, and I want you to know that money blocks are usually rooted in the emotions that we feel about money, the emotions that we feel thinking about money, the emotions that we feel around money, the emotions that we feel around other people who have money. Money blocks are rooted in the emotions we feel about money And these emotions have not felt safe to our nervous system, okay? And so when we regulate your wealth encoding, like I said yesterday, this is the place that you actually receive. This is it. And if you're new to nervous system regulation, most of us are operating out of the sympathetic nervous system, which is the fight or flight, all right? And so the parasympathetic nervous system is the regulated state we want to be in. This is rest and receiving. Being in the parasympathetic nervous system, this is the state of receiving. And like I said in day one, it's important to know that from the ages of zero to seven, we learn from our environment certain stories, beliefs, and emotions around money that we are still carrying today. Some of these emotions that we're carrying around money may not even be ours to carry. And this results in so many of us viewing money as a threat, all right? But it's how your mind is perceiving money as a threat that's causing you to have a dysregulated nervous system and feel the way you feel about money and abundance. So to regulate our wealth encoding and to increase your wealth calibration, 
it's really important to do safety work because like I said, a lot of us don't actually feel safe receiving more money. A lot of us don't actually feel safe receiving more abundance. And so consciously and logically, you may be telling yourself, well, Kelly, of course I feel safe receiving more. Of course I feel safe receiving more money, more abundance, right? And logically and consciously, yes, you know you are safe to receive more more money in abundance, consciously and logically, yes, you know you are okay having more money, having more abundance, but what's happening is that unconsciously you're experiencing emotional issues that did not get fully processed by the unconscious, by the subconscious mind, which then results in our waking state consciously. This results in us not acting, not showing up, not moving, not being, not making decisions like we are okay with money, like we are safe with having more money, having more abundance, having more wealth. And this ties back to that old story of I have to do more in order to receive more. And when you're operating from that belief, operating out of logic, what that feels like in our body, in our nervous system is that it's not safe to rest. It's not safe to receive. And so this is why so many of us are operating out of a dysregulated nervous system in the sympathetic, and it feels very challenging for us to move into the parasympathetic because it doesn't feel safe for us to do less. We think and believe that by resting, we're doing less and we're not doing enough, which is what's keeping us in that loop, in that cycle of operating out of a dysregulated nervous system, keeping us in that fight or flight, viewing money as a threat right? So not only do we want to get our subconscious mind on board with having, holding, receiving more money, we also want to get our body on board with having, holding, and receiving more money. So what we get to do is process these unprocessed emotions that are stored in our body where it doesn't feel safe to receive. We get to process negative emotions that we have associated with money so that those emotions can be dissolved, so we can shift into the parasympathetic sympathetic nervous system and actually feel safe receiving. And so what I want to do with you today for day three is to feel any emotions you may have around money. And what I want you to do right now is to think about how do you actually feel? Not, I'm not asking you, how do you want to feel? How do you actually feel right now about money? If you were to receive an unexpected bill in the mail right now and you opened it up and you were like, holy fuck, what emotions would you be experiencing? Would you feel unsafe? Would you feel frustrated? Would you feel worried? Would you feel restricted? Would you feel yourself in scarcity, in lack? How would you feel and how do you feel honestly With yourself, let yourself get vulnerable with yourself. How do you truthfully, honestly feel about money right now? These may be your emotions that are unprocessed. These may also be some of your parents' emotions that we've carried around money. How do you feel about money right now? Again, I'm not asking you how you want to feel, how you desire to feel. I want to know how you feel truthfully about money right now. When you can hold space for these emotions coming through, we're going to do a little EFT tapping emotional freedom technique exercise right now to process those emotions, to feel those emotions, to let your body feel them, process them so they no longer, these emotions tied to money, these negative emotions tied to money no longer have power and control over you. All right. And before we do this EFT tapping technique, I want to share with you, this may land in a different way. There may have been an experience, like I said, in the past where something happened, but this could have been five years ago. This could have been 10 years ago. This could have been any time in your life. This could have been last week where you were like, Kelly, I just tried to launch a new program in my business and no one signed up. Well, Kelly, I applied for that job three months ago and I haven't heard back. 
right? And so, yes, I hear you. Yes, I'm holding space for you. And what's happening is because our manifestation hasn't come our way yet, and because it hasn't worked out for us yet, we're feeling that frustration. We're feeling that disappointment. We're feeling that worry. We're feeling that resentment. We're feeling that bitterness. And because those emotions haven't been processed by you yet, those emotions are stored in your body. And so what you are unconsciously doing is you are showing up moving, being, identifying as those emotions, protecting yourself, keeping yourself safe from experiencing resentment, bitterness, anger, frustration, worry again, right? And so this is why so many of us subconsciously protect ourselves because we experience those negative emotions. We are subconsciously protecting ourselves from moving forward in our lives because we don't want to feel those emotions again. Because logically, that's what it feels like we can control. And so when we process those emotions stored in our bodies from a past experience where it didn't work out is when we can break free, no longer identify as those negative emotions and allow ourselves to move forward in our lives. This is how you regulate your wealth encoding, and this is how you increase your wealth calibration. This is how you can break free from your comfort zone because subconsciously you've been keeping yourself in your comfort zone to keep yourself safe for fear of, if I try this again, if I go for it again, it didn't work out in the past, so it's not gonna work out again. I don't wanna feel those negative emotions again. I'm gonna stay where I am. I'm going to keep myself safe. Let me know if that lands with you and makes sense. Yeah. So this is how we're going to break free. We're going to do EFT tapping right now. And if you're new to EFT tapping, it's emotional freedom technique. So you've seen me do reels on Instagram where I'm tapping on the positive, which is which feels really good. However, we're going to tap on those emotions, those negative emotions you've been feeling around money. This is part of the full EFT tapping session that I don't show in 60 second Instagram reels. This is where the shifts occur when you feel the emotions. So wherever you are, yes, you can do this while driving. I love tapping while while driving. Wherever you are, I want you to start tapping on the outer edge of your hand. It's almost like that karate chop point. Just start tapping. And as you're tapping on the outer edge of your hand, if you're driving, you can have one hand on the wheel and tap on the top of your head, okay? So as you're tapping, whether it's the karate chop point of your hand or on your head, I want you to repeat out loud after me. Even though in the past, I tried to go after my dreams, I tried to manifest more money and abundance and it didn't work out the way that I wanted. I didn't receive the money, the abundance, the clients, the sales, the job that I really wanted for myself. And it made me feel not enough. It made me feel resentful. It made me feel frustrated. It made me feel like I wasn't doing enough, like I had to work harder. It made me feel like maybe abundance isn't meant for me. That maybe I'm not worthy of money and abundance. And it makes me worried about my future. It makes me worried about moving forward. And even though I have these thoughts, these feelings, and these emotions, I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And then wherever you are, I want you to start tapping on your chest, right underneath your collarbones. 
take a deep breath. I allow myself to receive more money and more abundance into my life with ease. I feel safe receiving more money. Mm -hmm. I feel safe receiving even more abundance into my life or into my business. I am safe because I am safe. I am safe because I am safe. I allow myself to rest. I allow myself to receive. I allow myself to move forward in my life, increasing my wealth calibration with ease. It feels so light. It feels so free. I feel excited and eager about more money, more abundance coming in, in unexpected ways at any given moment of the day. And I allow myself to receive. Mm. And wherever you are, just allow yourself to feel this new frequency, feel this new regulated wealth encoding that you just created for yourself, that you just encoded in your body. Breathe this feeling into your body. Inhale in through your nose. And open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, you just did an amazing job. I know that you're feeling really, really good. Relaxed after that EFT tapping. And congratulate yourself on completing our three days together. Okay. And so one final step that I have for you, I share this with my clients. I share this with my students is to not check your external circumstances to see if it's working, to see if what you're doing is working, right? I invite you to be so solid in certainty, anchor into all knowingness and the belief of it is all working out for me. And I am so excited to invite you into my program, Manifest That Shit University. This is the proven method, my abundance DNA method to manifest your next $1,000 or more within the next 33 days or less. This is where you won't have to worry about how to make more money because you created new money making neural pathways. You're not going to worry about where are the clients or where are the sales thinking you have to do more because you left Newtonian physics and are now in the quantum physics state. You're not going to worry about being capped at receiving more because you regulated your wealth encoding. So my love, if you're ready to learn a step-by-step -step system to make more money now without trying to be more positive 24-7, all the bullshit overcomplicated methods, adding more to your plate, taking pressure time from you. In 33 days or less, you will have expanded on or opened up new revenue streams leading to $1,000 or more. And you're going to have personalized and direct feedback from me on what to rewire, recalibrate, or remove in your life or business. No other manifestation program out there is designed this way, which is exactly why I created this. And can I get you results in 33 days? 1,000 effing percent. However, it's going to take more than 33 days for us to consciously continue to create new money-making neural pathways and reprogram your old limiting beliefs that have been there for 20, 30, 40 plus years. And that's why I structured it to where you're getting continuous support on a bi-weekly basis with me for three months together. So again, if you're so ready to manifest your next $1,000 or more, more within the next 33 days or less manifest that shit university is open this is the end all be all program when it comes to money manifestation and if you're ready to get inside dm me on instagram manifest or manifest that shit whatever feels really good for you and i'll send you everything you need to enroll and right now the first five women who join us receive special pricing and a special gift from me so again, DM me on Instagram, manifest or manifest that shit, and I'll give you info so you can join us inside Manifest That Shit University today to manifest your next $1,000 or more. 
if you have any questions, hop into my DMs. I am happy to answer them. I'd love to talk about where you are at in your abundance frequency so I can share with you what's working, what's not working, and I'll give you my suggestions to see what you can change in order to manifest your next $1,000 in 33 days. Ah, this program is incredible. It is life-changing. Again, DM me on Instagram, manifest or manifest that shit so you can join MTSU today. And I would love to hear about your experience inside this three-day series. Please share with me on Instagram so I can celebrate you. I am here to support you and I want to see you fucking win. I know you are beyond capable of manifesting big money, big magic, and I'm going to help get you there. That was so much fun. Thank you so much for tuning into the episode. Be sure to tag me on Instagram at the underscore badass babe with your takeaways so I can celebrate you. And as my gift for you, please subscribe, rate and review on iTunes and I'll send you my exclusive Awaken Abundance meditation. I'll see you in the next episode.